Okay, so maybe you guys have a curved back TV like what I've got here. Uh, these are supposed to be a Visa standard. Uh, they don't all the time. And because of that, that curve is causing a problem with how this mounts to the TV. It's See how it kind of rocks back and forth. And it's not supposed to do that. that Samsung and their infinite glory gives you these spacers and now Samsung probably someone's are going to argue that their TVs meet the visa standard within the plane of the screw holes and where they where you actually contact the screw hole the problem is you need a 50 millimeter screw to go in there and connect with the screws and and they don't provide that then now you might get by with a 45 I did not I went, I just, I, I tried a 40, did not fit. I went ahead and got a, went and got a 50 and then I got some watchers. See here, I got some black ones and I got some white ones also. These are nylon uh, washers that you can use to fill the gap. I want to make it tight, uh, but I don't want to pull it too tight against the TV. I just want to make it snug. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, start setting this up. I'm going to do the top one first. I'm actually going to hang the top one by this. Sure, I got this right. By this slotted end. You do the slotted end because you're going to be hanging it and you need that slot to be pointed down. So it's going to be sitting on here like this. And, and that slot's going to slip over top of the rest of your Visa thing, uh, rest of your stand. Um, I'm going to go ahead and put this together and put one up here so you can look at it. I'll talk through it. If you've got a curved mounted, uh, a curved back uh, Samsung TV, you're gonna have to probably do some extra work. Unless Samsung is now starting to put the correct uh, bolts with them, you'll probably have to go out to a true value. Again, I got 50 millimeter, uh, and then I'm gonna put some washers in to clear up the difference. I went and gra tried to grab some 40s. Uh, they were just a hair too short. And so I just went and got 50s and figured I'll make up the difference. And 45s are a little bit harder to find um, and may not work anyway. Uh, just looking at them. So let me put this to get one side together for you and I'll talk through it. Uh, again, this is a Samsung 58 inch TV. I want to show you this here real quick. I've got two washers on here. I'm actually, a, I'm not hand tight. And I'm, I think I'm almost the back of that threaded area. So I'm going to go ahead and put one more washer on there. I'm put a regular washer on that top. Um, I'll show it to you when I'm done here. Okay, here, look here. I actually, it's hard to see here, but I actually added a washer on the inside. I've got two nylon washers, a black and a white one. I did that because I didn't want to bottom out that screw when I tightened it up. I wanted to, I want to be able to have a little bit of give and still be tight. When I come down here, I'm going to need about one washer down there, which is probably about right. Maybe not at all, but uh, it's going to help just help secure that a little bit better. So let me finish putting this together. I'll show you. Okay, I, I did the same thing on the bottom. I put a metal washer on the inside. So you can see that kind of hits. You can kind of see that in there. Um, on that, on this one, I just put one nylon washer on the outside. Um, again, I wanted a little bit of play. I can tighten that up. I think there's still some more give there. I'm just doing this hand tight. Uh, should be able to turn another half turn or so, which would just snug it up real tight. You know, I'm pulling on this, that's really nice and snug. This will make that tight so it doesn't come loose. Those nylon washers on there will give a little bit, provide a little resistance so it won't work itself loose. I'm going to go ahead and put the other one on, show you what it looks like. Uh, again, this is for a Samsung aftermarket uh, mounting system, uh, the non-standard Visa setup that they've got on these. And just for reference, you guys know, this is a 50 millimeter. It's an M8, uh, one in 25 pitch by 50. Uh, you can get them at, uh, down at, a, like I said, True Value or Ace. Uh, I went with the Phillips head screw, uh, cause I've got this, that's what I'm doing everything else with on this, uh, whole aftermarket stand. Um, you can actually get with a bolt head if you want to, if you'd rather use a socket, uh, it's your choice. Uh, this was 99 cents where I got it from. Hope that helps you out.
Okay, so I've got these on now. You can see they're both on here, top and bottom. I've just made them finger tight. Now I've got, again, I've got my Harbor Freight screwdriver. I'll put this in here. Hopefully I can, I don't want to make this super tight. I just want to make it snug. But I also don't want to use a electric wrench on it because I don't know how snug this is going to be. I wish I had a little bit bigger screw head for this, but I'm just making that tight. Putting a lot of pressure on it. That kind of snugs up. I turn it maybe, maybe an eighth. And there you go. So now that's on there solid. Again, as long as they're solid, they're going to hold that TV where you want it to be. So hit something up on the. Oh, I got another. Okay, so now I've got them both on here. Uh, you can see. They're sitting here nice. They're both the same distance off the TV. This curve really causes a lot of issues. You can see how much, how far off it is. And those uh, visa mounts are pretty much vertical. If I put a level on them, you'd see that. Did so that curve causes problems? They they do at least give you a spacer to help you out. Uh, if they don't have a spacer, you're gonna have to make one. Go to like I said, True Value. They will help you out. Uh, but you can see those spacers are about an inch, inch and an eighth. And they fit in there the right way. So if you unbox your TV, don't throw those spacers away. Um, so that's kind of how you mount this on that curved TV. You can see it's quite a bit of curve there. I uh, hope that helps you out. If you have any issues, uh, go ahead and hit me up in the uh, comments section. I'll help you out.